Arms Drag took place in 2004, I was in London, and we had, this tragedy had been widely reported because it highlighted the kind of armed um, travel conditions that um, the Chinese um, workers were sort of working in. And I think um, the gang masters who were later tried for manslaughter highlighted this sort of way in which there was a blind eye in the law that was turned towards these practices. And I think also, as you know, in England, I mean, there is a raging debate about people who come from different spaces, that come to work um, in um, the UK, and the language that's used is not very sympathetic. And I've always thought that there's something that needs to be kind of made, which isn't like a news report, but it's something else, a kind of form of moralization, I guess you could say, that I see this work as being in and also something which kind of goes beyond just the kind of more sort of um, facts that you get around such incidents that goes um, a bit deeper into looking at the culture and looking at this question of what would migration be today? What would be the poetry of migration, for example? Um, so I think there's all of these complexities now that we're in this globalized culture um, that people tend to look to China for its sort of economic productivity, but we don't really look at it in terms of an aesthetic or cultural exchange in the same way. And so I think all of these things were kind of in play when making the piece. Okay.